guys and welcome back i'm ed from the go get yours review channel as you guys may be aware last week i went along to my local b&m store and i managed to pick up a vast range of goodman's tech the likes of which are currently on my channel just now i'll leave those links in the video description down below oh yeah go watch them after this video cool nice one but today you're going to be taking a look and reviewing this goodman's revive bluetooth turntable Okay, it's not a Technics turntable, but with Rhino now the retro thing, and a lot of people now reverting back to it because it's fashionable, I thought I'd pick this one up and see what it's like. So let's have a look outside the box, shall we? To the front of the box, as you can see, is the image of the Goodman's turntable itself. This turntable does indeed come in three different colours. To the left there are some features, like the fact that this turntable has Bluetooth built in. So yes, you can stream media via Bluetooth. This turntable has three speeds, which are 33, 45 and 78 RPM. It does have stereo speakers built in, a diving type stylus, a headphone socket and a 3.5mm line in. To the side, we have a short introduction to the Goodman's brand. And to the rear, we have a few more detailed specifications and features. It's sort of the same as what's practically on the front of the box. But yes, you've got those three speeds, and it's good to see that this turntable has an RC audio output and a semi-automatic stop mechanism. You've got a description of basically what's in the box, and this turntable is compatible with Android, iPod, iPhone, and iPad. So that's the outside of the box, let's see what we get inside, shall we? So, inside the box... We've got another little box, which contains a dual 3.5mm audio cable, the power adapter, the usual guarantee, quick start guide, and user manual, which is very informative. Put these aside for now, and let's take out the... Turntable. Another one. Turntable. Another one. Turntable. Another one. Mm. All right, I know. Well, it's well packaged. Let's take the foam off the sides. Mm, nice, I like the case. Wow. So on the front of the case, there's those stereo speakers. Let's just turn to the rear. So you've got these chrome coloured protection corners, which gives it that very industrial type of look. Nice. Here you have the line out. So you've got right and left, and you've got the DC input, the power adapter. It comes with four very sturdy feet. And let's open this little baby up. It's very nice, nice and portable. If you go into a cabin, if you go on a holiday, not bad. Play some tunes. If you want a bit of retroness, you want someone to come to your house, go, ooh, that's nice. Let me have a play. This might be the gadget for you guys. So again, look at this. I mean, I love this. It's got a soft feel to it. It's like padded all the way around, it's like suede. There's the Goodman's brand just there. And right now, this is looking really good phone protection always good to see so to the right hand side to the bottom with the 3.5 millimeter audio output to listen to your music via your headphones above we have the power switch which when turned on and adjusted clockwise you can turn the volume up turn anti-clockwise to turn the volume well down above that volume control you have a function control so you've got bt line in and phono and to the very top we have a line in port used to connect this turntable to devices without bluetooth capability so just below the needle arm to the right hand side we have an auto stop on off switch we have a speed selection switch just above let's go ahead and release the arm lock and to the very top we have the tone arm lift Included with this turntable you also get a 45 rpm adapter on the end of the arm as you can see you've got the needle cartridge and lastly we've got the turntable platter let's go ahead and power this bad boy up by plugging the power adapter in and plugging in the power dc port to the back let's turn it around and let's give it a try shall we hmm, so what shall i try a bit of cypress hill a bit of madonna like a virgin a bit of ice cube today was a good day it was a good day Thanks. Maybe a bit of classic uh, Whitney. Oh, right, I don't know how that got in there. Uh, uh, forget about that. Bit of Mary J, maybe. Mm, let's give it a go. <sighs> the state of that speed here it says it's 33 and a half RPM. Well, let's make that selection. So it's at 33 RPM now. And let's place the record on. So turning this device on. Power on. You heard that notification saying power on. So you've got BT, so you can select your Bluetooth device. So as you can see here, you've got the light that flashes blue. That means it's in pairing mode. Grab your device, select Bluetooth mode, go down to Goodman's turntable, select it, 
and before long it will be hooked up and that will be confirmed via the notification saying Bluetooth connected. Yeah. So let's play some tunes real quick and see what the quality is like. So right away, I can hear some interference. Let me see. Okay, so the stereo speakers at this moment in time don't sound that bad. They are loud, but are noticeably not heavy with bass. There's the interference again. Hmm. What if it's the same if you plug a line in? Let's go for line in and let's test that out, shall we? Let's grab the cable, plug the 3.5mm audio cable into the line in, the other end into my device, and let's test it out without the Bluetooth on. 120 steps, that's not good is it? Let's play this song, see if this works. Okay, so this is better, not much interference. Obviously you can hear a bit of static, but it's not as bad as when it was on Bluetooth mode. Again, that bass, very tinny. The bass is very tinny. I would actually use the line out if you were using this rock or player. But it's not bad. I mean, if you was out on holiday somewhere, and I don't mean abroad, by the way. I mean, like, UK holiday in, doing a caravan, going to a chalet, going to, like, a cottage. Yeah, it would be perfect. But let's go ahead and let's test the record player out. Well, let's turn it on phono mode. Ooh. This has actually been a long time since I played this record. Hopefully it's not got scratches. Turn the volume down a bit. Sorry guys, I had to resolve an issue with the copyrighted music. So at this point in my edit, I couldn't show you guys an example of Rhino Play. Sad, I know, but after playing with a few records, I've got to say that the audio was improved compared to the Bluetooth streaming and line in mode. I've personally always thought that vinyl does give you better richness in quality, especially with the bass. Okay, you're certainly not going to be scratching records on this turntable, but at least vinyl lovers like myself can dust off the old records, even hook this unit up to an external amplifier, ride the output port to the back and, well, blast some old tunes. Which brings me to my overall verdict of this Goodman's record player. Will it have the auto function? Let's have a look. Is it going to come back? Nope. Hmm, there's no auto return. Fair enough. It's manual return. So what's my overall feeling on this Goodman's Revive turntable today? Well, for me personally, it's brought back a lot of memories. I've dusted off the old Ice Cube records, and over the past hour or so, I've been playing a bit of, you know, Whitney. But yeah, I've dusted off a lot of Rhino. I've got plenty more. And for years now, my kids have actually been saying to me, Dad, what are these big things? And today, I managed to um, show them exactly what they are. This is a turntable. Do you know how it works? No. So you basically pick it up, you drop it at the beginning. I touch it. <laughs> it's cool. It comes in like a suitcase, it comes with speakers here. You can actually use headphones. So you can plug it into your phone, your tablet, and you can play music from your tablet using these speakers. But yeah, back in the days, this used to be what we used to use before CDs, and then eventually all that evaporated into thin air. Yeah, no, it's good. I know, it's just storage, isn't it? I mean, look at that. It's massive. It's is like it? a massive coaster for a giant cup. Would you? Walk around with a suitcase. Yeah, yeah, walk around with a suitcase. Get mugged. And for £25, which is, what, 31 in US dollars? You can't really go wrong, really. Cheap enough. And it's good for a gift. So, yeah, if you want it, go get yours. Now, usually, I would review products over three days. But with this Goodman's Revive turntable, I've had plenty hours of good fun. And I'm going to put it quite simple. The bass when using the stereo speakers is kind of flat. It does have high volume, but you may not want to turn it to the fullest, as the audio is kind of an air sore. Lower that volume to around 80 to 85%, and I'd say the overall experience is comfortable. The mid-tones are quite good, and the low tones too. Alright, you do get a bit of interference when the device is close, but move it away, and it's not too bad. I mean, listen, guys, it is a gimmick, but it's a pretty good gimmick, and it is indeed well made. Like I said, for that £25 price, what can you get for £25 these days? Basically, what, a Bluetooth speaker on its own? You've got a turntable. Turn back the time, 
can get your records played. And on that bombshell, what would I give this Goodman's Revived Turntable out of my usual rating out of 10? Well today, honestly, I think I've got to give this turntable a... 8 out of 10. I'll go ahead and I'll leave a link for this Goodman's Revived Turntable in the video description down below. I'll also leave the other Goodman's selected products, which I've previously reviewed in the past, in that video description. Go and check it out and go get yours. And while you're there guys, please go ahead and... Share this video wherever possible, smash that like button, subscribe, making sure you hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads. I'll see you guys all for my new video coming real soon, stay tuned for that. Oh well, peace! Alright, stop! stop.